Maxtrax Pro CE Accounting. Maxtrax Pro CE comes with full accounting, including accounts payable, accounts receivable, banking, payroll, and a fully integrated general ledger. Let's take a look at these features one at a time. Starting with accounts receivable, click on customer service from the menu bar and select accounts receivable statements. Here we can post automatic finance charges once a month and print our accounts receivable statements. When we receive a payment from a customer, that payment is posted on the customer record. So let's click the customer search icon on the toolbar, enter a customer name, and click on the customer options button to select pay AR invoice. Tag to pay an invoice and click the next button. Enter your method of payment. Click apply payment and click finish. And we can print a receipt for the customer if they like. Accounts payable are managed under the pay bills icon on the toolbar. Here we have a list of vendors with amounts due on or before the date selected. They're listed by vendor with the oldest invoice. And to make a payment to accounts payable, select the vendor, tag the invoices to pay, and click Next. Again, enter the payment method. And here we're going to write a check to this vendor and click Finish. And this starts up the Write a Check feature. It's auto-populated with the amount to pay, the payee, and a list of the invoice we're paying with this check. Click Post Check. And here we can post and close and select to print the check now or print later. We'll select to print the check now. We can verify our starting check number and click OK Print. Most of our accounts payable are entered through the Restock Parts feature by restocking a parts ticket for something that we've purchased. For other monthly bills, click on Enter Bills, and here we can select the vendor the bill is for, Snap-on for example. We can enter their invoice number, the amount of the invoice, a memo if we like, and select the disbursement account, small tools in this case. Click OK, and now when we click on Pay Bills, we show that vendor and that invoice that we just created for us to pay at another time. Now let's take a look at the Write a Check feature. Click Write Check on the toolbar, and here we have a list of all the payees in the system. Let's add a payee, for example, and this will be for our rent. We'll select Company and enter Smith Properties. And we can enter their address, which would also print on the check, but let's just click OK. And here we enter the amount of the check, a memo if we like, and we disperse the check, in this case to lease rent building. A cool feature in the write a check function is to check the memorize box. So when we post this check, We'll select Post and Close, but we'll print this check later. But now, if we go to write the check again and we select Smith Properties, you'll notice that the amount and the disbursement is saved. Now, of course, we can always select to change the date and, in this case, the memo, if you like, and post that check. Let's take a look at how payroll works. Click Payroll on the menu bar. Select Run Payroll from the drop list, and we choose the checking account payroll will be paid out of, and we pay bi-weekly. So our pay period is December 5th through December 19th, and our payroll date is today, the 29th. We simply click Next, and we've selected all of these employees to be paid on this bi-weekly payroll check. Click Next, and on this paycheck, you can see that Mike is paid a base amount, as well as flat rate. We have all of his deductions here on the right and his net pay. We simply click Next Employee. Fred Jones is just paid hourly for the time period, his deductions, his net pay, as well as John Miller. Larry Malloy is paid salary and we have his net pay. 
And our last employee, Linda, is just part-time. And here's her net pay. Again, all of her deductions. Click Next Employee. It asks if we like to print these payroll checks now. Let's say no. And we don't need to enter any more payroll records. Now if we go up to Banking and click on Print Checks in Queue, here are those two rent checks that we wrote and all of our payroll checks. We can click Select All and Print. Verify our starting check 